Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode I'm going to teach you guys how to correctly clean your firearm. The methods I'm going to teach you in this video will work for your MMP, for your Glocks, for your 1911s, any platform. It's going to be a very simple how-to video on how to keep your firearm, your carry firearm, or any firearm in tip-top condition throughout the year and make sure that your firearm is reliable and ready to go whenever you need it. Now the type of cleaning we're going to be doing on this firearm is a field cleaning. I typically recommend this whenever you've gone out to the range and practice with your firearm or on a monthly basis just to make sure that your firearm is in the condition it should be. Now as far as detail cleaning your gun, I recommend you detail clean your gun once a year where you will completely disassemble your gun, inspect the parts, clean them, lubricate them, and reassemble all together. Now this will increase the lifespan of your weapon and it will decrease the wear on your parts and decrease the chances of mechanical failures on your firearm. But more on that on future videos. If you haven't already done so, go down below, click the subscribe button so you can keep up to date on all the videos that we release. Now without further ado, let's start cleaning. Alright guys, so one of the things we're going to be using in the video are cleaning rods. Now you can use any type of cleaning rod you'd like. I have an assortment of cleaning rods here just to show you a couple of different styles that you can use. Um, you just want to use something that's caliber specific to your firearm. We'll also be using patches. Now patches come in different sizes specifically for different types of calibers. Can't really use a big 12 gauge patch inside of a 9mm or a 22 because it won't work. It won't pass through the board. So get patches that specifically work for the caliber that you are going to be using. Q-tips. Now Q-tips we're going to be using to be able to get to those little tight areas on the gun since we're not really going to be detail stripping the gun. It helps us get into those little tight corners so we can clean out whatever debris or fouling there might be accumulated in the gun. Now, we're also going to be using bore brushes, mops, and brushes in order to clean our firearm. Make sure you're using the correct size bore brush in your firearm. And I have some magazine brushes and mops in order to clean my magazine specifically that's a little bit dirty and I wanted to take care of that. And we're going to be using an armor's brush. You can use either a toothbrush, armor's brush, just a simple little brush in order to agitate the surface on our gun parts and make sure that we're removing whatever debris or fouling has accumulated on it. Then we get into the realm of firearm cleaners, degreasers, solvents, lubes, greases, and oils. Now there's a vast array of different options out there and you should go with whatever you feel most comfortable using or the product you like the most. Okay, so the first step we're going to take when cleaning our firearm is making sure that our weapon is clear. So we're going to release the magazine, lock the slide back, inspect inside the chamber, make sure there's nothing in there so we're clear. Next, we're going to remove our slide from our frame, separate both halves, remove the guide rod, remove our barrel, and this is as far as we're going to take our gun in order to field clean our weapon. I'm going to start off by cleaning my barrel. You don't have to start off cleaning the barrel. You can start in any order that you want. I'm just going to start with a barrel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a patch and a cleaning rod, and I'm lightly going to soak the patch and some solvent. Now I'm using brake clean for this video. You can use any solvent that you want. And I'm just going to run this patch right through the barrel just to get some solvent in there to start off with. Next we're going to get our bore brush and we're going to spray it down with some solvent and we're going to run our brush through the barrel couple times just to agitate the inside of the barrel and loosen all that powder fouling from the inside. After you've run your bore brush through your barrel a few times you're gonna get a clean patch, run it through one of your cleaning rods and we're gonna clean the inside of our barrel to get all that crud we loosened off of it. Now we're going to repeat the process a couple times until this patch start com starts coming out clean. Once you've cleaned the bore of your barrel to your liking, you're going to get a little bit of solvent, spray it on your barrel, get an armor's brush or a toothbrush, whatever you have handy, and we're going to scrub our barrel on the exterior. We're going to scrub it down, loosen whatever debris or powder fouling we have accumulated on it, and we're just agitating all the surfaces. And once you've done that, 
you're going to get a clean towel, microfiber, paper towel, anything that you have on hand to clean the solvent off of our barrel and leave it nice and clean. And now we have a clean barrel. Alright guys, so to finish up this job, we're going to get our wool mop and we're going to pass it a couple times through our bore just to polish up the inside of our bore and to soak up any residual solvent or moisture we might have trapped in there. Now, if you were going to store this gun for a while, you will get a patch, hit it with a couple drops of oil and pass it through the bore just to keep the inside lubricated because we don't want moisture or any surface rust to form inside of our barrel while in storage. So here is our before shot of the inside of the barrel. And here is our after shot. Next we will do our guide rod. Same method as before, spray it down. Use our brush to agitate the surface. Loosen up whatever debris or fouling we might have and wipe it down. And this part's ready to go. Next, we're gonna be taking care of our frame. Same method as before, we're gonna use a little bit of solvent, spray down the inside, and we're gonna use our cleaning brush and just agitate all the surfaces. Once you've agitated all the inside of the gun to your pleasing, get yourself a clean cloth or some patches and start wiping down the exterior. Get everywhere you can with it. For the little tight areas, we're gonna use our Q-tips to clean up those little tough areas to get to. And we're gonna repeat the process for the exterior of the gun. I'm gonna get a little bit of solvent, a couple spritz, and agitate the whole fire. And again, once you're done agitating the outside, wipe it down with a clean cloth. Here's our frame before. And here is our after shot. Much cleaner. Okay, next we're gonna address our slide. Same process, spritz it down with a little bit of solvent and get in there with our brush and start scrubbing away. A little tip to take off that brass residue get some quad out steel wool and lightly rub on it and doing that will take away the brass residue all right so once you've scrubbed down the whole gun exterior and the inside get a clean cloth and again repeat the process of wiping everything down okay just wipe everything clean and remember, use your Q-tips for the smaller areas where you can't get the towel into. You want to get this in all the little nooks and crannies and wipe out whatever fouling we have left in there that we loosened up with our brush. And change your Q-tips frequently so you're not dragging around the same fouling all over the gun which you just cleaned. And lastly, in my case, I'm going to disassemble my magazine to clean the inside because it's kind of dirty and I just want to keep it clean. You don't have to do this every time you feel clean your gun, but I'm doing it in my case because it is dirty. All right. So basically, if you have a spacer, take out the spacer. In my case, I have a little depressing knob on the bottom of my base plate. Press that in, take off the base plate, remove the magazine and remove your follower all right guys so it's going to be the same steps as before we're going to get a little bit of solvent spray it on our parts and we will start agitating with our brush now for the inside of our magazine we're going to be using our magazine brush and we're just going to run it a couple times through there just to clean that out 
once you've agitated all your parts with your brushes again clean cloth and wipe everything down here's a little tip in order to clean on the inside of your magazine just get your towel get the cleaning brush the thin end wrap it around and just push it in and that way you can dry the whole inside of your magazine easily all right so we've cleaned all of our parts and now it's time to lubricate and reassemble everything on the magazines i like to use a dry lubricant called mag slick now mag slick is a lubricant it sprays on wet it dries up but it leaves the inside very well lubricated something sort of like a ceramic coating so great product um, it's what I mainly use for all of my magazines when I clean them very easy to use so you get the magazine you get the product shake it well and just give it a couple of squirts on the inside okay let it run down now as it dries you can see as it dries it leaves a light film of dry lubricant on the inside of this now once our dry lubricant dries it will leave a nice thin film on the inside of our magazine some of it might get stuck on the outside as it leaks through and dries since there's so many holes but you get a clean rag and just rub it down and it will take off that residue from the exterior of your magazines next we're going to be lubricating our magazine spring and reassembling the whole unit we're going to be using a couple q-tips and i am going to be using some brownells gun oil uh friction defense extreme gun oil uh, for this video so you just want to soak the head of one q-tip and we are going to lightly coat our spring okay so we finished lubricating our magazine spring and now it's time for reassembly now a little tip before uh, reassembling this magazine your magazines will typically have a angle on the magazine it's uh, spring itself now that angle needs to go the correct way when reassembly so you want the spring to be at a slight angle upwards when you install the follower reason being when the rounds go onto your magazine you want it to be canted slightly upward as to feed into the barrel if you install the spring backwards you're going to have feeding issues because your angle is going to be off it's going to be pretty much nose diving all your rounds and you're going to have feeding problems so always make sure that your angle is facing up to slightly cant your follower up with it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert our follower then our spring remember correct angle facing upward Okay, then we're going to get our spring catch, base catch, whatever the terminology for Smith & Wesson is. And we're going to put on our base plate. Slide that guy right over and clicks into place. And our magazine is good to go. Okay, so next we're going to be lubricating the parts on our frame. Now everyone has their own opinion on what parts you should lubricate on your firearm. I personally like to leave a light thin coat of oil on all my parts just to protect them from any corrosion that can be caused by moisture or body sweat. Now you can just get a regular q-tip, soak the head of the q-tip with some gun oil and just lightly coat your parts. But you get the idea, just coat all the parts you can reach with your q-tip and make sure you give everything a nice little coat of oil just add a little layer of protection okay so once you finish oiling all the parts inside of your frame I recommend you use a little bit of grease on your main contact points in my case we have the sear the trigger bar where the firing pin disconnect meets and on my frame rails Okay, those are the areas that get the most contact on this firearm with the slide in action. So, just take a little bit of grease, okay, squirt it down here, 
a little bit. And I'm using some Battleborn, Breakthrough Battleborn Grease. Pretty good stuff. Uh, it's fortified with PTFE. Um, great stuff. And you're just going to get yourself a punch. Get a little bit of grease. And you're going to put a dab right on those friction points. Okay. Just a little bit. I'm going to put a little dab on those friction points of our gun. Now, this will help the operation be a lot smoother. You will feel the difference. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit on those contact points. You're just going to dab it on either way. Once you rack the slide a couple times, it'll distribute that grease where it needs to go. And you should be good. Next, we're going to work on our slide. Now, our slide isn't that complicated. Again, I just put a light coat of oil on all my surfaces just to give it a little layer of protection from moisture and any sort of corrosion that could form. So, again, just give it a light coat of oil on all the parts just to protect it so once you've given your slide a nice thin coat of oil okay I forgot to do the breach face right, we'll take care of that real quick once you've given that thin coat of oil I like to use a drop of oil right on our firing pin block and work that up and down just to get it in there and make sure that the inside is lubricated well and then use the dry side mop up whatever excess you have because all you want is a thin coat and then I'm going to be using my grease again I'm gonna use a little dab on my firing pins striker face just to smoothen that out and I'm gonna put a little dab on top of my firing pin block okay just gonna smear a little bit on there alright and that is complete and finally we're gonna work on our barrel and our guide rod spring assembly. Now, same method, we're gonna get a Q-tip, soak the head in some gun oil, and we are going to lightly coat all of our surfaces. Now, on the barrel, you wanna concentrate mainly on your locking lug surfaces, as you wanna cut down on friction on those points. And on the hood, because you get a lot of friction on the hood of your barrel when it locks up. Okay. Lightly oil the feed ramp. Oil the top. Remember, the goal is just to give it a little protection. As to avoid any corrosion from forming on the surface of your parts. Okay. So, nice little coat. And the crown, same thing to our guide rod assembly, nice thin coat. And complete. Okay, so our parts have been cleaned, our parts have been oiled, and now it's time for reassembly. First, we're gonna take our barrel, we're gonna slide it into our slide, get our guide rod, push it into place, and mate both halves together on our firearm. Rack it a few times, 
to distribute those oils. Dry fire in a safe direction. Perfect. Okay, so the last thing I want to do to the firearm is give it an added layer of protection on the outside of our metal surfaces. And to do so, I like to use a product called Barricade. It's by Birchwood Casey. It's a rust protection for your metal parts on your firearms. It's mainly used to protect firearms when they're put into long-term storage. Um, but I like to use it on my carry weapon as well when I clean it because it just gives it a light film of protection on all the surfaces. So the best way of doing this is getting a clean microfiber towel. Okay. And you're going to spray a little bit of the product on the surface of your towel. And then you just wipe it down. Now you're going to see it goes on wet, but it dries to a clear film and it just gives an added layer of protection to your firearm this is great because if you carry your firearm your body sweat and oils will cause corrosion eventually if you do not maintain your weapon you can even use this on the polymer parts just to give it a little shine as I'm doing here and that is the clean fire all right guys so if you like this video hit the like button if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so that way you can keep up to date with all the videos that we put out and as always i will put a link down in the description where you can find all these products in order to keep your guns clean and ready to go well guys i hope you like this video and i will see you guys next time Oh, 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 oh,